hippo is one of the biggest animals on our planet. An average full-grown male can reach up to 7,000 pounds. That's roughly the weight of a UPS truck. A female will generally weigh in at about 3,000 pounds. One, a full-grown pygmy hippo, on the other hand, only gets to about 600 pounds. Two, at birth, baby hippos start out at around 60 pounds, but it doesn't take them long to gain weight. In less than 3.5 years, a hippo is considered mature. Hippo. They can't swim. They will spend hours in rivers and lakes, sometimes with only their eyes showing, but they remain in shallow waters. They find sandy river bottoms and banks to stand on hippos or vegetarians. But during the first year of life, hippo calves nurse on milk from their mothers. Once they're born, they stay close to their mothers, relying on them for food until they can survive on their own in the wild. They are even known to ride on their mother's backs at times. Interestingly, the hippo's body has adapted to allow the calves to nurse both on land and underwater. What hippos lack in swimming skills, they more than make up with their ability to hold their breath for long periods of time. They can hold their breath for up to five minutes. A thick membrane covers their eyes and their nostrils close, creating a protective watertight seal. Hippos will do this when they sense danger or feel threatened by something in their environment. They may move to another area or just stay still until they feel it's safe to come back up to the surface. Strangely enough, hippos are even able to sleep underwater using this same reflexive instinct. Hippos are very loud and use a series of noises to communicate with one another in their groups. Not much is understood about what each call means or why they do it, but like other animals, it's their way of spreading messages. They could be alerting other hippos to danger, signaling a time to move or stay still, or calling after their young. Pygmy hippos will spend most of their lives in solitary routines, but common hippos are often found in large groups or bloats. At times, these groups can include up to 100 hippos in total. This allows for safety and security and gives males control over their territory and families. The main predators of hippos are large cats, crocodiles, and hyenas. They will often go after the smallest offspring, especially if they've wandered away from the protection of the group. They also look for old and injured hippos that are vulnerable to an attack and unable to defend themselves. Sensitive skin is the primary reason hippos spend so much time in the water and away from land. But interestingly, their bodies have been designed to create their own sunscreen of sorts. They have evolved over time to be able to secrete a certain kind of pinkish sweat that covers the length of their bodies. They don't actually have sweat glands, but this oily substance comes from pores in their skin and acts to protect them from sun damage and prevent infection. Female hippos are pregnant for eight months. Much like a human, female hippos have quite a long gestational period. River hippos are pregnant for about 237 days which equates to roughly eight months. For a comparison, the mammal with the longest time is the elephant which is pregnant for over 600 days. Sperm whales come in second at nearly 500 days. Eight visitor catadon, sperm whale, animal diversity web. Hippos will only have one baby at a time. The calf will remain by its mother's side for nearly a year suckling milk as it grows and gains strength. 
after that time, it will quit nursing and feed on vegetation. Hippos mate in the water hippos mate every two years, and most of the mating rituals take place in the water. Both males and females use vocalizations, body language, and even their own urine and feces to show their interest or lack thereof. A male will travel, compete, and fight other males in order to get the mate he wants. So typically, only dominant, powerful hippos are allowed to mate successfully. Hippos. Our polygamous hippos are not known to mate for life, and a male may have up to 10 mates in one lifetime. Because it's the dominant male hippo or bull that rules the rest of the group, it's often quite a challenge for younger males to secure a female to breed with. In one season, a male will usually mate with more than one female to ensure offspring. After the calves are born, they will all stay together in his territory, where he can protect and shelter them from other competing males and predators. Male hippos fling their dung to mark their territory. One of the reasons why hippos are considered dangerous and unpredictable animals is because of their need to defend their territory. Females will fiercely protect their young, but it's the males who are most vicious and threatening. They will go after any hippo, even family, animal, or human that dares enter their personal space. On land, they may use their tails to fling their feces around the area to show their territory to others. Wide open mouths, loud noises, or charging may also signal that they are defending their land. During the dumpening, the tail is used to fling feces as far as 10 meters, 32.8 feet, from the extrusion site, spraying turds as far as he can on either side in an attempt to claim this land as his own. The number of times? I would estimate around 12 to 14 because they're eating all day long. They don't necessarily have one big meal and one big bowel movement. They just kind of eat all day and they kind of defecate all day long. A single hippo can generate about 400 pounds of waste per day, four toes. Hippopotamuses have four toes on their feet with hooves covering each toe. The hooves are more like nails, since they do not fully envelop the hippopotamus's toes, like in other hoofed mammals. Skull of hippopotamus was huge and notable for its little brain case and high superorbital ridges. The skull had a larger splanched cranium than the neurocranium. Please subscribe to my channel.